Hi there, we're going to look at two methods for uh, pasting values uh, in a spreadsheet. So we've, our scenario is we've got a whole load of sales data here. We've got to send someone a copy of this information which doesn't contain the formulas that you can see uh, in this column and in this row. We just want the values, not the formulas. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to create some, uh, going to do two versions of this, two versions of a macro just by writing a little bit of VBA code in each case. So uh, to open up the Visual Basic Editor, I usually use Alt F11, which gives me a kind of code window to type my code into. Uh, you will need a module though for your code. So uh, you'll need the Project Explorer for that. So view Project Explorer. Um, you select the project you're working in. Book one is my book here. And then you'll have a modules folder. You insert a module here, insert module. Double click on the module, you'll get a code window. I'm just going to close down that Project Explorer so I've got a little bit more space uh, to write my code into. Okay, so um, let's start off with our first example. So we'll call this sub paste values. Our first example. So what we want to do is we want to reference the range of cells that we want to copy. So that'll be A1 down to H12. And we're going to copy it. You could cut it. That would work in the same way. And then we're going to say where we want to copy it to. So we're going to copy it down to uh, A15. So you just need to state uh, the top left corner of your paste area. It'll do the rest for you. Now, we're then going to access a method called paste special. And if I open a bracket, you'll see there's lots of different ways we can paste. Uh, you might recognize this if you're used to using the paste specials menu, paste special menu within Excel. And what we're looking for is to paste values and number formats. You can just paste values, but that will leave out the currency format from our uh, copying of our values. So I'm going to go for that one. All paste values, Excel paste values and number formats. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, you might know about the kind of marching ants that you get around a copied area. We want to get rid of those at the end of the um, macro. So I'm going to say application dot cut copy mode. Excuse my phone there. Um, and we're going to say equals false. I just get rid of the marching ants around the area that we've copied. So I'm going to play this. And there we are. We have the data copy to where we want to and you can see that none of these cells contain formulas anymore they just contain values right so there is another way which you may prefer it's a little bit kind of easier so let's say paste values two and what i'll do is i'll get rid of what we've pasted there now this one totally different method what we're going to do is we're going to specify the range of cells the full range we're going to copy to which is going to be a15 to h26 those are all the cells that are going to contain copied values and we're going to access the value property of those cells and then we're going to say that those cells values are equal to the range well our original range of cells so that was a1 uh, colon h12 dot value so in this example we're not actually using cut and paste at all but if i press play you can see it works in exactly the same way so all you're doing is saying these cells contain the values in these cells you're not pasting over or copying over formulas or anything, just the values themselves. So two ways of doing the same thing. You don't need to use paste special at all, but if that's a familiar concept for you, you might wish to go that way. Otherwise, you basically just reference the values in the cells that you want to uh, copy. Okay, uh, that's all there is to this video. Thanks very much for listening and hopefully that's been useful.